Republicans stood by the governor when he announced new funding for school security, but almost none are showing support for what he did today. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Haley Wilkes. And I'm Bob Mueller. Tonight, House Republicans tweeted that any red flag gun law is a non-starter after the governor released what looks like a red flag bill. In a moment, we ask whether similar laws are working in other states. But first, here's News 2's Adam Mincer. More than three weeks since the Covenant shooting, there still isn't consensus on what gun reform would look like in Tennessee. Today, Governor Lee put out his plan for an order of protection law. Tennesseans, I want to share an update with you. It would allow law enforcement to temporarily take guns from people who pose a danger to themselves or others if a judge agrees. The governor avoids calling it a red flag law. Red flag is nothing but a toxic political label meant to draw lines in the sand so nothing gets done. But other than his lieutenant governor, no Republican lawmakers are saying they'll support it. To comment one way or the other, if this is or is not a red flag law, I think, I think it's just premature. We've got, to, we've got to look more closely at that. Because while Governor Lee won't say it's a red flag law, some Republicans, like Representative Jason Zachary, are lumping this into that same category, tweeting... <laughs> Red flag order of protection legislation will not pass the Tennessee House. I do not and will not support. The vast majority of my fellow Tennessee House Republican colleagues feel the same. And House Republicans say they didn't see this bill before the governor released it, so they still need time to vet it, even though time is running out. There's no question, that's a tough ask. The days of session are, are, are very few. We're, we're, we're probably maybe 48 hours away from adjourning. Democrats are applauding the governor for putting out this bill, even though they say it's a watered down version of a law they'd like to see. This this really, it was a hastily crafted piece of legislation. There's contradictory language in this legislation. You can tell it was thrown together really quickly. Democrats version of the bill allows family members, not just law enforcement, to petition to take away someone's guns. But Representative Clemens doesn't expect to be able to propose that addition or anything to this Republican supermajority. They don't intend to do anything. We've emailed every House Republican. Most didn't respond, but two have said they're not supporting this bill. And with no sponsors on the governor's proposed legislation, Democrats are skeptical this bill will ever get a vote. Haley.